Valentina Scratcher or not, we gotta see. We may be Bray coming in with the mind games. Is it enough to shake the Sky King Sonic? Or will they will continue to show the that they are Smash untouchable? Them. We're going into game number three. All troops deployed. Be scary. I'm actually scared for the Gord in the Welcome early stages, just mainly because of the Yuzhong, the Akaya, then you have the supplement of this show. And even then, we were talking about no dive from the side of uh, Onik, but then if you realize after the Yuzhong as well as the Joe pick, with the Faramis intact, that means that they have the green light, they have the license to get into the back lines now. The first three picks coming out from uh, Onik might not be dive heroes, but with the Faramis in combination with the Cho as well as the Yuzhong, that's gonna be scary. I'm legit scared for this oh. Gord. A flicker very aggressively in the start of the game. Super Mario taken low, but look at the decision to not flicker back. He decides to walk away, but he will pay with us a lot of HP. Mm -hmm. Now we gotta see how CW manages the lane because it looks like Super Marco, even though he was chunked up quite a bit, he is gonna give, be able to last hit that gold minion there. So good effort coming in from Onik, but Super Marco sticks to his guns, yep. staying in the lane. Going at the other lanes, it's Lapu Lapu versus the Yuzhong. I believe that Flap Easy will have a great time this game. I think that overall, this was uh, probably the best pick here for AP Brand. Great versus the Faramis. Obviously great against CW. And CW did not go for the Purify, went for the Flicker. So that's uh, going to be a target for sure for Flap Easy. And right now looking at the battle here, Sans started to battle off, being very proactive around the map, trying to target Super Marco here. So the question is, for Onyx, as well as AB Brand, which is the lane that's going to be targeted? Are they actually going to put a lot of pressure on the gold lane? Or are they going to put a lot of pressure, as we see right now, perhaps in the EXP lane? Yeah, EXP lane for sure. Because they need to, um, to teamfight around the turtle. All very right. important for AP Brand as well as Onyx to get this first turtle. All right, the turtle is going to be the name of the game, and we got to look at the the, the the boots coming in. If he gets level four, as well as Flap Tizzy, both can dive, and both can dive very, very hard, but Kyle Tizzy goes in on his hands. No flicker on Sans, you got to remember it. You go all in for an AP Bren. They find Force Blood by catching Sans off guard. Meanwhile, Kyrie holding onto the turtle. Kyle Tizzy still has that red tree. Keyboard's looking for the flank. Phew, going to be spotted out. Heavy spin still ready for Kyrie. Dumps in. Oh! What? It's Flap Tizzy who gets the steal. On the turtle, now Furious dive defensively by Boots. Ogwen following through, Kyle Tizzy doing the same thing. Keyboy, G Kundo in the front. Boots gonna be chunked down by Ogwen. Boots running away still, Ogwen still chasing! Ooh. A big vengeance! Ooh. The reset. final slash, resetting! Bravest fighter by Flap. No flicker committed, no flicker to be used. Onyx still hovering over the orange buff right now. Stop Tizzy, looks for the steal. Jumps in, Sans doing some damage back. Bravest fighter, the third spot gonna be used up right now. Mr. Gus! No flicker, use flap! He didn't just steal the turtle, he stole the orange buff too! <laughs> Allow me to say, Ani needs to breathe because I don't think oh. I would ever see this, but. Oh. 1v1, an outplay from Sans pops the Nether Realm clutch. Massive play coming out from Sans, but my oh my AP bread with open as well as flapped easy. Early game, aggression coming out from them, and Carrie was holding onto the retribution because it was cooling down. It was, he was two seconds away from the Retribution to be off cooldown, but then Flap Tizzy steals that orange. Dual hero here, statistic, statistic as well, 70% win rate for Bruno and Fermis whenever they're paired up together. I was about to say, I kind of feel like Boots made a mistake because he was going down and he was going to, oh, but before that, CW gets engaged on. Good stun over, Flicker, backwards from CW, Keyboy with way to drag it defensively now, as that's the Mystic Projectile, not connecting, Keyboy. Has got some stacks on to him, but Super Marco won't decide to pop that torn apart memory. Kyle Tizzy will decide to invade the enemy jungle two levels ahead. Mm. Who gets it? Was that Kyle? Dude, at this that point, at this point, oh. even though Kyle was able to scurry, but again, the difference there, two levels, that's that. a big impact, Wolf. Yeah. Absolutely. And this is going to be a big problem for Onik, especially because they're facing up against Brody Lapu-Lapu. We're talking about the problems for few, but now you can disregard that totally because AP Red, they've created four problems for Onik to solve. And few is not a priority at all for Onik. At this point, AP Brand, they can pick up the tempo because for a Lapu Lapu, level four is all you need. And now with all the advantages coming in from Super Marco, I feel like he's just moments away from his second item. And then once he gets his second item, he's moving with the team. Okay, but Flap Tizzy yeah. on the other side gets picked off. Super Marco tried to go for boots there. But Kyle will be able to trade it back for a neutral objective. He knows the info. Kyrie has used his red tree. And he goes straight for the purple buff. Keyboy. Jikundo not connecting. Ogwen connecting on his first skill. Now 
Onyx will lose out on the purple buff. Kyle Teasy steals it away, invades Onyx jungle. Right now, I think it's a little bit rough for Kyrie, but I think it's fine for him, especially as an Akai. But right now, the space given to CW having one kill, and I kind of feel, I kind of feel like they're still targeting him here. The Terminator, Super Marco Keyboy. Finds it in Kundo, way the dragon, but it's only on to the offside. Super Marco flickers back to safety. And now Kyle's locking Keyboy down. Another Realm HP dealt with by the appraiser's wrath. The taunt connects and Keyboy will lose his life. But whoa, Oakland takes it away. Vengeance. At this point again, AP Brenda gets beat up. Flap was caught. He still wants to fight. And he does fight. Getting onto the back. CW forced a slight tackle defensively. AP Brenda bought enough time for the rest of the members to come through in the mid lane. And even with that play, that's uh, gonna be net positive for AP Brand. Forcing out the heavy spin. And Sans cannot do anything at this point but to wait for their moments. Cal TC with the blade armor pickup. This is gonna be massive. 3.4k compared to Kyrie. It's only secured 2.5 thousand gold. And even the XP is gonna be bad. This is gonna be a snowball at AP Brand. Especially their jungle. This is what they need and this oh. is what they get. Oh man! A flanking maneuver on the oh. CW, a brave spider! The flap teasy! No, it's on it. Oh, gonna be kicked back to the turret range right now with the helmet of Shadow Stampede. Bringing it back all the way for his dive. Mystic Gush from Phil! Melts them down! Keyboy falls, but Boots gets a double onto flap teasy now. Sans looking for another opening in this skirmish. Super Marco with an aggressive dash forward. Kyrie looking to go for this orange up right now, and Appraiser's Wrath secures the orange buff away from Kyrie. Two levels ahead, and they're looking to go for the purple buff next. Dude, right now, I'm worried Super Marco just got that Malefic Roar. This is what all he wants. This is what all he needs. At this point, AP Brand can say, you know what, I'm not looking at minions, man. I'm looking at heroes. He used the red tree, though. Kyle Teasy, because he knows there's no he way knows. Onik can contest. He knows. It because, that's because Kyrie's half HP. No matter what happens, he will be able to win the turtle fight. And even in Onik wins the retreat battle afterwards, it's not going to matter. They're going to be t taken out. AP Brent Snowball is just online. Dude, look at that cheer, man. Kyle Jesus secures the turtle. At this point, AP Brent, huge power spike. Absolutely huge. Because not just Super Marco securing that Malefic Roar, but Few as well getting that Ice Queen 1. And now Keyboy has to get away. For Onik, what are they waiting for? Well, what Ooh. is going to be the power spike for Onik that gives them the green light to fight back? Maybe when they have level 15 on Kyrie, maybe if they have level 15 on CW, that should be the only option. And when will that happen ever? 16 minutes, 18 minutes. They have to buy the time. They have nine minutes to Ooh. buy everyone. Now, Onik definitely not in good shape to fight now. Yeah, no. Looking at the items as well, a one item lead for the mid laner for AB Brent. Yeah, to 1,000 gold lead between the mid laners. That's something we don't get to see a lot from, but few on this board so far, absolutely lethal. Ogwen trying to chunk Keyboy down. Meanwhile, the rest of the team trying to look for a dive. Yeah, right now, Onik, they're in turtle position. This is Onik being defensive. This is Onik understanding the game. They can't take unnecessary damage. They can't take unnecessary risk. So try to beat as much gold as you can. But looking at how AP Brand is playing, Kyrie is going to be a little bit starved. So he's going to get that level 15 much, much later. Three levels down. Keyboy now going to be engaged on on his signature Cho. Final slash canceled away as Shun Fu. Getting out, but not from the taunt and the Mystic Gush. Even the Netherrealm comes in late. Super Marco, turn up our memory. Boots gets out in time. Oakwood diving in. Petrify locking him down. Sons pulls Kyle. Oakwood flickers out of the stampede. Up top, a turret traded in. CW finds it, but Flap Teasy might be looking. No, he falls back. The good thing about that is AP Brain were able to force out some of the battle spells, the Petrify coming up from Boots as well as Sans' flicker. They did have to spend some of their flickers, but the Flap Teasy and Kyrie. All right now, looking at the formation here, Lord Dance initiated by AP Brand. Doing quite a lot of damage to Lord Onik. They're spread out. AP Brand, they're clumped up together. Ogwen sees Boots. Conceal. Conceal coming down. The Rectory will be won by Kyle. Teasy. And now they're looking to collapse. They're looking to punish any maneuver. Kyle Teasy locking Keyboy down. Kyrie walking on the other side of the map. And Onik will be able to disengage. The Lord giving over to AP Brett. Sans now having the Lightning Truncheon is going to help him out when he wants to defend the base. But is it enough? Wolf? 
Yeah. It's not gonna be enough for now, for sure. I think that the best scenario now for Onyx is if they don't lose any of their inhibitors. It's oh. gonna be a tall order. One Kai. stab, Kyle takes it. Dude, damage dealt. Is oh. this for real? It is Ogwen for real. doing the most. Ogwen doing the most, few second place. Yep. But the damage from Sans looks like it is gonna be enough. Yep. So I kinda feel like I agree with Wolf just lying in Truncheon. Can't do it just yet, yep. but Keyboy goes in. That's a lockdown, but a Mystic Gush connects to the back line. Flap TZ will fall before Onyx frontline does. Now it's a lockdown. Oh, Sans gets wiped. AP Brand blitzed him down, bursted him out. And now AP Brand, 7,000 gold lead. Moving forward, they're looking at the hitter. Holy defense use. Oh, so again back to back. A quick stab from Kyle TZ. And Onyx has lost again on one member. The laser not quite in range. Onyx still able to defend from the first Lord of the game. Mystic projectile, oh, side tackle for CW, but it's not gonna be enough to get him out of range. Even with the splash from the turret, Onyx lose a base turret with the first Lord of AP Breath. And now, Black Dragon form used by Boots. Oh, that damage go! memory, oh my goodness gracious. Boots was almost melted down. Whew. Two base turrets. Let me just say, AP Brand, their mind games is working. Yep. It's working. It's working. And the thing is, losing Sans twice in a row. I mean, losing him once, that's fine because they were able to get the kill out of Lap TZ, but losing him the second time meant that they will not be able to defend two of their turrets. Uh oh. That's a oh, poke no. down on the Kyrie right now. Another round. Not. Oh, it's going to be in time. Keyboy finds a good win at the Dragon, but it's not going to be able to survive in this onslaught of damage. Boots finds a Petrify with of nature. But still, Sparkle falls. The Ghost Burster is able to take him down. CW dealing some damage, but AP Brand decide to disengage. Two for one in favor still of AP Brand. Look at the items, Wolf. What else does Onyx need? Another defense item for Kyrie for sure, because you see that when he turns up into the fight, even when he's not dying, he's put so low that the heavy spin is not going to be utilized properly. So he needs a second item for sure. We have Sky Garden Helmet eventually for him to be able to tank up. And then eventually a Radiant Armor. They definitely need Radiant Armor here from Onyx. Somebody has to take it. Otherwise, Few will just destroy them. SCW looking like he wants a Demon Hunter Sword as well to be able to deal enough damage because Kyle TZ has been soaking up so much damage coming in from CW. Right now, Onyx, they're at the back foot. But again, they've been in this situation time and time again. So I kind of feel like if you brand, they can't they can't fall asleep here. They got to make sure to tighten the gameplay and make sure they don't make a mistake coming in. Stampede from Sans. A resource used up. Kyrie poked down by Ogwen and also by Few. Kyle holding the Lord, pinned down. Final slash used up already. Sans, Shadow Stampede once again. Mystic Projectile connecting, chunking Sans for a bit. Onyx are still hovering over. Watch out, Marco. Yep, right now. Keyboy used the conceal, but immediately found out. I don't know how Keyboy can go in, man. He has to make some kind of miracle play. Sans, even he can't find any angles. He has a flicker. On it, looks like they have to disengage. They have to. There's no way they can contest an AP Bren. Capitalized. A free Lord in the 13th minute. Right now, Onyx, they have to defend. At this point, too much damage, man, being dealt out by this Gord. They got the Yuzong, but the Yuzong can't even go in. He flies, and immediately AP Bread strikes and force him down to the ground. Radiant. Boots can't do much here. Radiant Armor picked up by Kairi Kiboy. He has his flicker back. Sans is the most important hero for now, for Onik. And he might be Final Slash. That's going to be a problem for the of Onik. Oh, we're looking for an angle right now. Mystic Gush on the Kyrie. Heavy spin with another realm right now. The Lord's going to be dealt with right now. Skiboy jumps into the back, not able to find an angle. Stunned up, Tain CC. Keyboy taking out. Sans with Flicker. Shadow Stampede. A Brazer Splash connecting on CW. But it's going to be able to dish out some damage. Flap TZ with the Brazer Spider. On the back with the Flicker as well. Poot finds a better fire on the Cal TZ. Final Splash bringing it back. But he finds the kill. He dies instead. CW. Going for the waves right now. One more minute wave coming down. Sans taken out by Super Marco. It's CW for the world. A slight tackle back. But what is the member supposed to do? Will AP Bren just lock on to the turrets? AP Bren strikes back. Even though Arnie won.